In Florida, the Miami fans love and emulate their Dolphins. And last Sunday, they packed the Orange Bowl 80,000 strong to watch their team go for its fifth win in a row. While the Dolphins are number one in Miami, they're also number one in all of pro football as they are the only undefeated team left. Their success has been due in great measure to quarterback Bob Greasy, who last week against the Chargers came out firing. But early in the first quarter, Greasy suffered a possible season-ending injury when his leg was broken and his ankle dislocated. When it happened, Coach Don Shula said, the mark of a good team is how it performs in adversity. And there can be no greater adversity than having your quarterback laid out there in front of you. In adversity, the Miami defense was superb as they manhandled the Chargers' John Hadle. In adversity, the defense was alert as Dick Anderson, number 40, grabbed a fumble and took it 35 yards for a score. In adversity, the Dolphin defense stopped everything the Chargers threw at them. But while the defense was great, the Miami offense was fantastic. The offensive line gave Earl Marl, number 15, just about all day to throw, although at first he was a little rusty. But behind the perfect blocking protection of Larry Little and company, Earl spun a beauty to Howard Twilley, and in adversity, the Dolphins' offense came through. But Earl wasn't through, and standing ramrod straight in a cast iron passing pocket, he zipped another score to Paul Warfield, which gave Miami a 24-3 lead. With the game out of reach, John Hadle hits Sid Edwards for a Charger touchdown. But when Hadle got ideas of putting San Diego back in the game, the Miami defense in the person of number 13, Jake Scott, vetoed the motion. There's no question that Miami will miss Bob Greasy a great deal. But as San Diego learned, the Dolphins are a very tough bunch when placed in an adverse situation.